Can you please not? Ashley, isn't your music a little too loud? I can hear it from the other side of the door. No, Mom. I'm trying to concentrate here. Maybe you can turn it down a little bit? Can you please go out so I can study? Okay, sweetie. I'm Ashley's mom, and I've been noticing that Ashley's been playing her music really loudly lately. I'm worried about her. She's been pulling on her ears, and I think it's bothering her. I saw this story on the news, and apparently 20% of teens have some sort of premature hearing loss. 20%! I set an appointment with an audiologist tomorrow. I hope it's nothing. No, I don't listen to music that loud. Well, it doesn't matter in the first place. And I've been hearing rings in my ears, but I don't think that's a big problem. I think it's most likely from my mom and her nagging. Well, I wanted to tell you that I set a doctor's appointment tomorrow after school. For what? Just a regular checkup to check your hearing. What? I'm fine, mom. I don't need it. Well, just in case. No, mom. I really don't need it. I'm not going. I was afraid of this, but it's nothing a mom can't handle. Well, I was thinking on the way back we could stop by Music Plus and get those headphones you were looking at in pink. Fine. Pink always works. Oh, and glitter. She uses pink all the time. It's like that she doesn't know I'm 15. Yeah, but I'll go. I could probably convince her to buy me the new Justin Bieber CD. Hi, Ashley. I'm an audiologist. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, but I don't know why I'm here. Okay, so your mom reports that you've had some difficulty hearing and that you've been listening to your MP3 player pretty loud. I don't know what you're talking about. So you don't think you have any problems hearing. But since you're here today, why don't we do a hearing test and see how your hearing is. Before administering the audiologic test, I first do a short oral history to learn more about why the patient is here and their complaints. Next, I'll use an otoscope to look in their ears and make sure that no wax is occluding the ear canals. I will then place some soft foam tips into the ear canal so that the patient can hear the stimuli. The patient will then hear some pure tones of various frequencies. Lastly, I'll take all the test results and evaluate them and go over the results with the patient and make some recommendations. So Ashley, based off your test results, I show that you have a minimal hearing loss. What do you mean? Okay, so this is an audiogram. It's a picture of your hearing. Across this way is the different pitches that we tested. So we have low pitches to really high pitches. And down this way is how loud I had to turn up those beeps for you to just be able to hear them. Anything in this gray region, your hearing's considered within normal limits. And then do you see that dip right there? Mm -hmm. That is what somebody will get when they're listening to loud sounds on a continuous basis, such as an MP3 player. How does listening to MP3 player affects my hearing? Okay, well I can show you that. Okay, so you have three parts to your ear. You have the outer ear, which you can see. It goes to your ear canal, to the eardrum. The middle ear, which is from the eardrum and the three bones. The inner ear is the cochlea and that's where you have some hair cells that can become damaged or destroyed. Unfortunately, the hair cells in that inner ear, they won't recover, they can't grow back, and so if they get damaged, there's no way to recover them. Ashley, I can tell you really like listening to your MP3 player, and you can continue to do that, but I wanna make sure that you listen at a safe volume. I know, but it's just so easy to turn on my MP3 player in the mornings, and it's just, doesn't matter how loud it is, it's not that loud anyways. How loud do you think you're listening to your MP3 player? According to OSHA, someone can listen to loud noises at 85 dB for 8 hours without getting hearing loss. While most individuals are not listening to an MP3 player for more than 8 hours at a time, 
There's other loud noises in your environment and the effects are cumulative throughout the day. One rule of thumb is to be able to listen to your MP3 player and carry on a conversation. Another is, if your ears feel full or fuzzy or you have ringing after listening to your MP3 player, you're likely listening to it too loud. Well, it turns out that I've been listening to my MP3 player too loud. The doctor said I was listening to 95 decibels. Basically, that's equivalent to a lawnmower. <laughs> that's so gross. Come in! Ashley, how's studying going? Oh, it's going fine. You can listen to music if it helps you concentrate. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, this? The doctor did say low volume is okay. Mm -hmm.